thanks for taking the question. So following up on the last uh, line of questions, uh, you were with the Prime Minister uh, at events over the weekend. Did you receive assurances from him that you will be staying on as Finance Minister? Again, the Prime Minister is a very eloquent man and leader, and it's for the Prime Minister to speak for himself. Um, it is true that I had a long conversation with the Prime Minister on Friday. Uh, I spent a lot of Saturday with him in Mississauga and Brampton, and I was in Ottawa yesterday at a meeting with him. Uh, and I will offer my own perspective. So as I said a minute ago, um, it really, you know, Canada is so amazing. And I know that Canada and Canadians, we face some big challenges and we have some amazing opportunities. And I just consider it a real privilege every day to do my best to serve Canada and Canadians to work on projects like this one. Sir, was that a, a yes or no as to whether you had uh, received assurances that you will be continuing as finance minister? Again, um, the prime minister is a very eloquent guy and he is really capable of speaking for himself. I can speak for myself too though. Uh, so let me just add, to serve as minister in a cabinet, you do need the support and confidence of the Prime Minister. That is especially true for the Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister. Today is a nice day to be Finance Minister because I'm saying yes to an amazing project. But if you're Finance Minister, as my colleagues here know all too well, uh, you have to say no a lot of the time, too. That's how we keep our AAA credit rating. And, do you and hang on, hang on, I'm, let me just finish my answer. Um, and so in order to do my job effectively, in order to serve the amazing people who are here today and the people across the country, I do have to feel that uh, I have that confidence. And so what I will say to everyone here, speaking for myself, is I do have the confidence that I need to do my job effectively.